Hey guys, Head Tether, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a massive drugstore haul. Um, I have stuff from Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, and ATB, which is a local grocery store down here in Texas. So, um, because I have so much, I am going to go ahead and just jump on into everything. If there's anything that y'all see that y'all want a first impressions on, leave it down in the comments below and I'll be able to... I'll um, try to film that for y'all. But the first thing that I, first place that I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna start with Walgreens. <clears throat> <coughs> Hold on. I feel like I'm losing my voice. Okay. So the first thing that I got when I was in Walgreens was um an actual this is the real technique real techniques miracle complexion sponge. I have a beauty blender and I really like it, but um, I've heard great things about these, so um, I really wanted to pick one up. So I got one of those. Then the next thing that I got were three of these um, Maybelline Limited Edition lipsticks. They had a big end cap um, about the Maybelline 100 year anniversary or something. So they had a bunch of other different products, but the lipsticks were about the only thing that I really wanted to get, so I got three of them. Um, the first one that I got is 800 Striker Rose. And there's that color. And it is a shimmer. The second one that I got is 810 Magenta Abulous. Magenta Abulous. Magenta Abulous. Magenta Abulous, something like that. <laughs> so, it's a really pretty pink and then the last one that I got is very chic I think this one's probably my f most favorite one out of it mine's kind of broken so um, but I really like that and this is the packaging if you can see it says a hundred years and has like this skyline so <clears throat> those these are limited edition. They do say limited edition right here on the sticker. So if there's any colors that y'all want or any other products that y'all are thinking about getting, I would go ahead and try to find them now before they sell out. <clears throat> the next thing that I saw was a limited edition um, Wet n Wild little display. And it's the... I can't remember what the name of it was. But it has nail polishes. Um... They had balm stains, eyeliners. They had these things called balm tints. And then they had two bronzers, which um, this one is Bear in Mind, and this one is Toast to You. And I really like the packaging because it's kind of like that rubberized packaging, and they're both matte. So they have that matte finish on them, so I think they're really cute. I haven't swatched either of these yet, so I'm not sure the colors on them or anything, but... If, if y'all want a first impression, I can do that as well. Then the next thing that I got was I got all five of the um, limited edition Mega Last nail colors. And these colors are awesome. I love this. Um, there's five total. And then I also noticed that there was a Mega Last clear top coat in the display too. But my sesh feet is my um, holy grail. So... I didn't grab that one. So, this yellow one's called Be Beautiful. The pink one is Reincarnation. The green one is Green Teas. The orange is Sun Settle Down. And the blue is Sky Me Mine. So, these are gorgeous colors. And that's actually all, everything that I got from, um, Walgreens. The next place that I got stuff from was um, actually CVS. And I found these NYC Beautifying Blushable Cream Sticks. They're just blush sticks. And there was only two colors. And this one is Soho Pink. And then this one is called Never Sleeping Pink. So um, this one's more natural more of a natural pink and that one's called Soho pink 
and then this one's more of a corally pink, and this one's called Never Sleeping Pink. So. Okay, the next thing that I got from CVS, I found this really skinny cardboard display and it had brand new CoverGirl products. It had a new CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. And this says, All Day Primer keeps your makeup looking fresh. Apply a dime size amount to face before applying makeup oil free. So, and then I found the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Natural Glow Foundation. And from what I understand, this is the luminous version of the Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. Since that's a matte finish, this is the dewy finish of it. So, um, I'm really thinking about doing a first impression on using both of these in a video. So, if that's something that y'all would like, let me know. Then, the, also on that display, I found five of the new... CoverGirl Outlast Longwear Plus Moisture Lip Colors. And just going by the numbers on the bottom, I would say that there's probably more in this collection. They just didn't have any more room. They only had enough for six on the display. So, um, I'll show you the colors that I got. This first one that I got is number 900. It's Phantom Pink. A mauvey rosy pink. I like that color. The next one that I got is number 905 Pink Pow. Okay. Sorry, my battery died. So the next one that I got is number 920, and this one's called Red Revenge. And this is more of an orange base red I might do a first impression video on these as well the next one is number 925 red rogue and this is more of a blue base red <laughs> sorry I can see my youngest walking by the next one is number 930 and this is pink shock Like a fuchsia type pink. These smell really good. Mm. They smell really good. And then the last one that I got is number 945 Magnetic Mob. This is probably my favorite. So. And then the last things that I got from CVS were. The three, I got three of the, um, okay, so the last thing that I got from CVS were three of the Rebel Bloom Limited Edition Color Tattoos. Um, I got, I got Black Orchid, Rose Riot, and Hydrangea Hype. And that's it from CVS. The next place that I'm going to go over is Target because I only have two things from Target. I got the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Um, Emily Noel 83 raves about this. I haven't found my Holy Grail Eyebrow Gel so I really wanted to try this so I picked it up. And then the only other thing I got from Target was this Sony Kashuk Synthetic Concealer Brush. Sorry if you can hear him. Okay, and then the next place that we're going to go to is HEB, which is a local grocery store down here in Texas. And they have NYX products and OPI and stuff. So I got the NYX Wonder Stick in light medium. It's just a highlight and contour stick. And then I've heard really bad reviews on this, but I wanted to try it out for myself. So I got the NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palette in light. So... I heard if you use a little bit, a little bit like of oil or something in there, it helps a lot. So, makes them more creamy. So, I wanted to check that out for myself. And then I got two nail polishes from the OPI The Brights collection. I got this one in the Berry Thought of You. And then this one in I See You Wear OPI. 
And then the last thing I got from there is Mommy. this. And then the last thing I got from HEB is this Healthy Hoof High Gloss Protectant. It's just a top coat. It's the top coat secret of horse trainers. Quick drying, high gloss, and it's ideal for personal nail care. I really wanted to try it. I really like my sesh feet, but I really want to try this. So, and that's it from HEB. And the last place we're going to move on to is Walmart. Um, <clears throat> I got three of the e.l.f. matte lip colors. I really, I've had these in the past and I gave them away without using them and I really wanted to try them. So I got Natural, Tea Rose, and Wine. So since matte lip colors are like all the rage right now, I really wanted okay. to try those. And the next thing I got from Walmart is... I was looking through the wet and wild section and I noticed that they had some mega lash lipsticks that I don't actually have in my collection which I thought I had all of them but I don't have these three. This one is Coraline, this one is Cinnamon Spice, and this last one is Sandstorm which I think this could possibly be a dupe for Gerard Cosmetics 1995. I don't know. I don't have any Gerard lipsticks but you never know so I got those three and then from NYC I got the NYC city proof 24-hour eye primer pencil it's just a big twist up eye primer pencil and I really wanted to try this um, so I got that and then I got five of the NYC Expert Last Lip Lacquers. So these are supposed to be like liquid lipsticks. I got number 204 Central Park Passion. 300 Madison Square Mauve. Which that one's really pretty. Lincoln Square Love Affair. Chelsea Cherry Blossoms which is a really pretty nude. And the last one that I got is Coney Island Candy. I think I actually might, I haven't tried them, but if I like them, I think I might go back and get a couple more colors because I noticed that they had more and I really look, they're really pretty. <clears throat> then the next thing that I got was the Maybelline Fit Me um, Set and Smooth Powder. This is in port number 110 porcelain. Actually, my friend here on YouTube, um, Lindy Style, said that this shade number 110 porcelain is actually a dupe for MAC emphasized shape shaping powder so I really wanted to try it so it's just a really really light powder so and she swatched them next to each other and it looks really similar so I wanted to get that because it's a dupe <clears throat> and then from hard candy I got a few products I got the hard candy blush crush baked blush in honeymoon now this is too, for me, it'll be too light to be a blush, it'd be more of a highlight, but it's just really pretty. And this is in the shade Honeymoon. So, I also got the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. I've heard some really, I've seen some really good reviews on this and that I've heard, I've heard it's a lot like the L'Oreal, so I wanted to try it as well, so I grabbed that. And for $6, you can't beat that considering that the L'Oreal is like, for the big one, it's $16.99. And that's ridiculous. <clears throat> so I got that. And then I also got the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. I actually got two shades. I got 931 Fair and 933 Light. And I have used this once. And if I mix them, it's my perfect shade. So I might do a first impressions on this as well. Like I said, if that's something that y'all are interested in, leave it down below in the comments. Alright, the next thing that I got is this from Flower Beauty. It is the Transforming Touch Powder to Cream Blush. And this is in a Corable. It's a really pretty color. Um, it's, just, the, it's powder to cream. It's a really, really, like, interesting 
formula. There's some on my finger. And then as soon as you put it on your hand, it really does turn into cream. It's really weird. So I just, um, another YouTuber that I watched was um, just watching this and it sounded really interesting. So I wanted to get it. There was only this one in another shade, but the other shade was, really wasn't my kind of color. So I got, only got that one. The next thing that I got is the Eco Tool Skin Perfecting Brush. I really like Eco Tools brushes, and I have a couple more from this complexion collection, so I wanted to grab this one. It says used with BB and CC cream, so that should be. And then I also got a um, Essentials Tools brush, and this is like a duo fiber brush it's shape and blend it just looked interesting so I just grabbed it and it was pretty cheap okay the next thing that I got is actually at my Walmart they had this L'Oreal infallible pro spray and set makeup extender setting spray they actually had the trial size and I can't remember how much they were but they were pretty cheap I think it was like right at five dollars so this is the actual size here and I got two of them it's supposedly a month supply right here this is a a month supply so um yeah it says one month supply so i grabbed two of these uh, i had never seen the trial size so i wanted to grab a couple of those and they didn't have a full size so and then also from walmart i got the maybelline the blush nudes palette um i actually have a get ready with me coming up using this palette so stay tuned for that I also got the new L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2. So, And just letting y'all know, out of these two, the La Palette Nude 2 is the one that I like better. So, Two more products and we're done. Massive haul. Okay, I also got this Suave Professionals Moroccan Infusion Weightless Dry Shampoo. I was out of my got to be um, dry shampoo and I saw a review on this by the Glamour Index here on YouTube and I really wanted to try this. I love the way it smells. I actually got two bottles of it so um, uh, I'm hoping that it works really good so there's that. And then the last product that I got are these Equate Beauty Wedge Applicator Sponges. And I got these to try the baking technique with my contour and my under eye concealer. So um, I wanted to get some of these sponges because I already had the Cody Air Spun Powder. So I just needed the wedges. So I got that. <clears throat> and that is it for my massive collective drugstore haul. I hope that y'all enjoyed and please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you want to see first impressions on any of these products or reviews or anything, leave that down in the comment section below. Um, stay tuned because I do have a Ulta haul coming up. I actually have a couple in-store trips and I ordered some stuff offline. So um, stay tuned for that. Other than that, I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye.